I've camped about a hundred meters, maybe two, on that road there, and I've walked down to here, which is an estuary. It's called Lake Tyres, which is um, borders the ocean, but it's a lake because there's a very thin sandbar between the ocean and the river outlet. So this is a camping spot and the tide's coming in. So you can see the water has come up above the picnic areas. They've closed the road off so four wheel drives can't go through so that keeps it extra quiet. And I've discovered something driving along the highway three or four hours from the city at night in the dark I saw a sign that said rest stop or something I turned down it and found this in the dark in the night and this is what I've woken up to I've slept the night out it's a bit rough but my god this is worth it you can see it's hard to see with the camera but down there that water goes out to the lake and then the ocean. It really is quite something. So there's the water going out. It looks like there's a flow. The water's flowing down the river, but over here you can see the tide is coming in. See these puddles? So I have to be careful because this is going to over here the water was flowing before. It's flowing very slowly, filling up. So the tide's coming in. Yeah, there it goes, you can see. If, there's, if I put little leaves on there or sticks, you'll be able to see the water coming in. Actually, now it's going out. That's odd. Oh, that must be with the, um, the waves then going out a little bit. So now it's going back out. That's odd. I thought the tide was coming in. So it must be the end of a very of a wave. There you go, look at that. So you can see there and now it's coming back in again. Look at that. So that green leaf down there is coming back in and you can see other little bits and pieces. They're coming in, flowing in. This is a wave. This is the end of a wave because it will float out. So if the tide, oh yeah, but the tide, the tide must be coming in. So you can see that little leaf. Now it's going out again. Look at that. They're moving back out. See? Yeah, they are. So there you go. Look at that. It's flowing quite quickly. And then it'll come back in again with a wave. Watch it one more time. I've never seen anything like this before. So we're up, we're a long way from the ocean. So that's why there's a lake. There it goes, it's coming in. It's stationary, no, it won't. There it is, it's turning, the next wave's coming in. There it goes. Look at that. See? That's flowing quite quickly. Oh my god. I can't believe this. See, I thought it was permanently coming in because of the tide. But the waves, this is the end of the wave. So we're down low. 
So, and yet we're hundreds of meters away from the ocean. So the ground is very level and low. This has been here for thousands of years. It's incredible actually. This whole area, it's a lakes area. It's called Lake Tyres. So just to get this again, where we are, see all these puddles and that water there and there's the river that goes into the lake and that is flowing towards the ocean yeah so it's quite something really there's water over there too so there you go i'm really out now there's no one here one car drove past last night and he obviously drove down here he might have been a fisherman but he wasn't very he was a typical unfriendly because it was a one-way road, so never mind. Normally in the bush, friendly people give each other a wave and acknowledgement. You just give each other a little, just to acknowledge one another. Oh, there's that little bird, oh my God. Let's get him. He knows I'm here. There he goes. In between the trees. Need a better camera. But you see, you can't share. Well, you can, in the future, you'll be able to share high quality. There you go. See that in between the trees? Oh, he's very cute. Um, I don't know what he is. He looks like a baby, but I don't think he is. He's an adult something. <laughs> 